first of all, welcome to Finland and welcome Thank to you. our show. Thanks. I'm glad to be here. Uh, what kind of process is it to admit a theater to play a play like, like Wicked? Uh, how easy is it to give rights for the theater? Well, it's very. this is very interesting and very exciting. Um, and we began talking about the idea of this production here in Finland oh, four or five years ago, shortly after the show opened. Um, the um, people from the theater came to New York, and I met with them, and they proposed the idea of doing the first production that wasn't a replication of the original. And, of course, that's a very exciting idea. So we've been looking forward to it since then. Was it easy to give the rights, or how much do you have to do research, or what is the process? Well, we checked into the theater's history and saw that it had a very good reputation and that they had done other um, non-replicated versions of other shows successfully before, and so this seemed like a good place to, uh, to try it out. And once that decision was made, it wasn't too difficult to make the arrangements. You mentioned that this really is not a replica of, of a Broadway show. Uh, what does it mean to you? that it's not a replica, or, or should it be, or, or is it a good, good thing it's not? No, it's very deliberate that this is a non-replicated version. There are currently eight productions of Wicked playing in the United States and around the world. In addition to four productions in the United States, there is a production in London, in Japan, in Germany, and in Australia. And all of those productions are the same as the Broadway show. Um, So this is the first time that we'll be seeing the show with a different set, with different staging, with different concepts of how to do the show. Um, that's going to be very informative for those of us doing the show. We're very excited about it. And um, my fellow writer, Winnie Holtzman, and others involved with the original production are going to come here in August to see it. Um, it will help to tell us how well the show can work Um, not necessarily done exactly as it's done on Broadway. So it's very informative for us. Do you always personally visit the places, the theaters that are going to play, play, play Let's Say Wicked? Um, not necessarily. I, I don't always go to the productions. For instance, I have not seen the Japanese production, though I hear it's terrific. And um, I didn't see the Australian production when it first opened, though I'm going to Australia next month to see it. But because those are identical to the Broadway production, it would be fun to go, but it's not really necessary for me to go. Because this is the first production that's different from the Broadway production, that's very interesting and we'll learn a lot. And so therefore, that's why I came here. F to be perfectly honest, if what they were doing here was yet again another replication of the Broadway production. Unless I could time it so I came and had a holiday in Helsinki, I probably would not have come. How much do you have to give advice for the musicians or director for, for the play? How, uh, do you have always something to tell them? Well, sure. <laughs> I always have a lot of opinions and a lot of uh, advice to give. Um, I try not to interfere, obviously, with what they're trying to do. And um, the director here is very good, Hans Bertson, is a very experienced and very smart director. He has, I think, good ideas about uh, how he wants to do the show. And so what I've been trying to do is to work with him in places where he has said, um, I need a little more music here, or how can we make this new idea that I have work with within the context of what's there, then we've been discussing that together. But I'm not basically giving him advice. I'm trying to help realize his vision. And again, um, the musical director, uh, uh, Christian, I think, it, I, I don't know whether it's pronounced Neiman or Nyman, but he's also excellent. And so I'm just trying to be helpful in, in uh, making his job easier. In Wicked, you've also used some themes, some, some notes from your earlier works. Well, no, they're not really from my earlier works. There are uh, a couple of little themes that are snuck in that are actually from the movie The Wizard of Oz, 
Um, that won't be as meaningful here in Finland as it is in America where everybody knows the movie by heart. So those are kind of musical jokes that I think are more meaningful in America than here. Yeah, from over the rainbow song. Exactly, so. yeah. yeah. But it's, that's not too common for you, or is it? Like, like you do, making these musical jokes or... Well, it was special for this particular show because in America, the Wizard of Oz movie is incredibly famous. Everybody knows the movie. Most people know every line of the movie by heart. So that, you know, I wouldn't necessarily do that in another show um, or for other reasons. It just seemed particularly something to do for this show. And, and I should emphasize that um, there are just a couple of them and they're hidden. So it's not obvious, and one of the things that's been fun for American audiences is as the show has been there for several years now, people have made these discoveries, and then they write about it on YouTube or, you know, uh, online and chat, you know, go into chat rooms and talk about it, and that's just sort of been a fun thing. Okay, the last question. Uh, what would you like people to feel when they come and see the show? Um... You know, I never have a goal about, I want the audience to feel this, or I want the audience to think that. I just try to tell a story um, that's meaningful to me and that I would like to see. Um, and then I feel each audience member will have his or her own response, um, and that's up to them. I'm, I'm not trying to... Um, you know, teach a lesson or make people, manipulate people into feeling anything, you know, myself and the other people who um, wrote Wicked and put it together just have a story we're trying to tell and then people will react to it the way they react. Which of the characters in this musical is mo mo most closely to you? Well, I really identify with the leading character, Elphaba, who is the... Uh, the green girl who becomes the Wicked Witch of the West, not because I'm green or a girl, <laughs> but because um, she is someone who is, uh, feels herself an outsider and is kind of rebelling against what she feels are the injustices of her society. And I think we all can um, identify with that in some way or another. I think the reason the show has become so popular is because in some way or another, pretty much everyone has that green girl inside of them. And so I think everybody has a piece of Alphaba, and they identify with her. Oh, thank you. Sure. Great.